is so good to see you. My neighbor is so cool. They have the most amazing garden. They're actually a person that does landscaping for a living and they've been taking the logs from the homes where they cut and clear and cutting them into firewood and oh love it so much don't love the sound so in the background you're gonna hear my neighbor chopping some wood doing a little spring cleaning that's okay it's actually really beautiful they stack it up really nicely kind of in their front yard their front garden is berserk right now they have a huge plumeria and it's just gorgeous there there are faves we're just gonna tell you don't love the sound, but that's okay. It's real life. If you want to track along with me and light a candle for this session, feel free to do so now. Remember in 2020 when we thought we could do everything? <laughs> these matches made in 2020 because I thought back then that I was going to create this wonderful uh, witch's apothecary to go. Best laid plans. They sure sound pretty though, don't they? Today in our spiritual session, we will be doing some cleansing and clearing so we can greater connect with our intuition. You may want to strike a match with me. And I do it with this really serious intention. Oh, I love this candle so much. My intention is that I light this candle to alert all of our spiritual guides and guardians of our presence. And by doing so, we say, I'm here. I'm open. I'm listening. And I'm ready to receive the messages that are meant for me and us. This candle is in a terracotta vessel made in Oaxaca, Mexico and it's got white glaze inside. It's so beautiful. The candle's called Mercado, and it's such an amazing aroma. I just had my 21st wedding anniversary. Went out to Joshua Tree for just a quick little vacay, overnighter, and we stopped at our favorite restaurant called La Copine, and They've got this cool little vintage trailer in the back that's like a little super curated, gorgeous gift shop. And I don't know how to say the name of it, but I'll link it in the description of the video today. And there's these beautiful selection of um, goods from Mexico and other gorgeous little places that are local. And this is such an epic find, isn't that beautiful? So connect with that firelight, connect with that flame. I find in sessions where I am releasing negativity, it's a process. I like to warm up, kind of like I'm stretching the body and connect with the firelight, connect with the candle. And I also created some really cool mists that are spell sprays. There's three different ones. And this is my atmosphere mist, resist mist for protection. through your open lips, make a sound, say ma. Just drop your shoulders, connect with your body. Next, there's atmosphere mist moon magic. 
there's a quartz crystal bead inside. Oh, and I'll tell you, Atmosphere Mist Resist Mist has a lava bead inside. Moon Magic is for manifestation. I love the aroma of this because it's a little more active. It's got the medieval mix of rosemary and thyme. Mm. Ma. And finally, we'll use Aura, Resist Mist Aura's got a tiger eye bead within. I like to say that I shake well to sound the bell, which activates the spell. Aura is for soothing your body, stoking the fires of your desire. It's a little bit more for your sensuality. <sighs> Feels so great to have that big deep breath in on a sunny day and start the week off right and really have a high regard for any tension in my body, any stress that I'm carrying in. And I chose a crystal ally for us. This is a rainbow obsidian. Is that just so gorgeous? Wow. Rainbow Obsidian and this stone in particular just rests on the body so beautifully. You can kind of use it to just reconnect with yourself. If you have, feel like you have a heavier heart, you can kind of just, just gently sort of pet your decollete in your throat to give yourself soothing. I love to place this on my forehead after a long day. It's really cool. It's just a gorgeous stone and it looks so heavenly next to firelight. So gorgeous. Let's do a little bit of Now that we've just sort of warmed you up a little bit, let's just take some of that energy and work it to the surface where we can release it. And just pluck and release. Let's get something that's really on your mind and on your heart and really pull it out and send it away. Pull it out of your mind and send it away. In that way, you can kind of lift it out of your mind and out of your body and observe it in your hands for a moment and then send it away. another darker vessel right here. This came from my favorite, favorite flower shop. They have little gorgeous objects along with orchids and flowers. I don't know if you can see behind me that orchid right behind me. That is an orchid that I rebloomed. I was very proud of myself. I splurged on it in 2019, right before I had some friends spending the night. And I tucked it into a little spot in my garden and just kept spritzing it. I changed the bark in the winter and there out popped these fresh blooms. I'm calling her Miss Thing. 
and this little vessel came from the place where I got the orchid and I utilize it on my mantle to remind myself to really keep my cup full. And the only way I can do that is by offloading the things that are on my heart and my mind. Another wonderful practice is utilizing a really simple sand timer. We used to call them hourglasses, but this one doesn't hold an hour. It's like less than 15 minutes. And I'll turn that and we can check out that awesome black sand. I'm going to allow us this amount of sand for tending to ourselves, tending to the things that are on our hearts, tending to the heaviness in the world right now, really having a moment and not bypassing at all what it is that's in your sphere. That's really um, a heavier feeling a heavier experience you know pretending that you're not afraid or pretending that you're not in pain or concerned or anxious doesn't do the trick for me so I'm setting this sand timer and just letting it be here while I take a moment and kind of walk you through couple of things that work for me and then we'll pluck some more, take some more things away and release some more. Here's my newest journal and I kind of debuted it in my last video. It's kind of a longer video, much longer than this one. It's 44 minutes and it's 4K. I was so excited that I got to upload a 4K video. I can't even tell you, like, honestly, if you've ever just enjoyed an eye roll, a solid eye roll from a teenager, you can relate to me. My family's just like, enough already, lady. But I just started this journal. It's my third in 2022 already. And I just love it. Obvi, I'm kind of a black and rose gold person. I love that color combination. And every day I start my day with something called morning pages where I just offload stream of consciousness if I can, three pages. Sometimes I doodle and draw. Unfortunately, sometimes it turns into a to-do list, but <laughs> Lately, I've been having fun over on Twitter just creating morning pages prompts. So, if you want to check those out, just go ahead and look in my link tree and you can check all that out. But having a way of really acknowledging what you're going through for real is so important. And that way, you know, there's no parts of you. I always feel like when I don't admit to myself the things that are on my heart and in my mind, I will have the experience show up in a different way, not in front of my eyes, but like in my peripheral vision or some part of me will either like, um, get really tired or have feelings of anxiety that pop up instead of just really facing it and dealing with it, right? I might even like skip a meal because I forget, because I become more fuzzy in my mind. 
having these objects around that remind me to really ground myself, that remind me that I do have support around me is just so important. And when I start really acknowledging what I'm experiencing, I give myself more space. And when I have more space, I can greater fill my cup with the things that give me joy. Look how gorgeous this is. It's like a gorgeous black flower, isn't that beautiful? filling my cup with the things that give me joy, I can then have these experiences like I kind of call them hits. I get a hit when I'm doing something that gives me joy, like going for a walk on the beach, cooking with my daughter. I love doing that. And then my intuition is now involved. So in many ways, it feels like an exercise of making space by acknowledging and releasing negativity for me to then say, here I am experiencing joy, experiencing what I love because I'm not unfortunately bogged down or fuzzy because I'm trying to avoid my negativity. And then I have the opportunity to um, have that ambient joy of doing things that feel really great, that remind me of my purpose in life. And in that way, my intuition is just in the front now, sort of driving things. And I've got a tarot card that reminds me very, very much of my intuition and I'll show it to you now. This is my Moon Baby Magic Tarot, the deck that I created a couple of years ago. And this is the moon. My tarot deck, Moon Baby Magic Tarot, you can be read a few different ways through the moon phase, the color and the keywords. And the moon keyword is subconscious. Really important that we allow time and space for those hidden messages and ideas in our subconscious mind to really emerge and be in the front, right? And so this first quarter moon phase keyword is divination, where we collaborate with our spirit guides and allow this energy of the collaboration with all living things around us to speak to us, to really show us the path where we find our joy and we really learn from our pain. I love this card. It's got a pair of amethyst wings at my friend Madison's shop. She's got a shop in L.A., called Open Eye Crystals, and I don't know if she still has these amethyst wings. I haven't been to her shop since the pandemonium, but I love, love, love that I was able to take a photo and then collage them with this statue of St. Teresa holding the moon. St. Teresa was known as really collaborating with animals and with plants and with the beauty of nature and our place as natural beings. And I just had to honor that. The green field reminds us of our body, our abundance, and our connection with the earth and the direction of north. I 
hope these few words are giving you some inspiration. I really want to just congratulate you, honor you, tell you I'm proud of you for being here in this moment to really acknowledge and release more negativity. Let's get into a couple more practices, but first let's do a little bit more blocking. And let's work our way down your form. Let's begin in the mind. Now let's go into that throat area with any negativity that's stuck in your throat, release. Let's move our way through your heart, plucking and releasing anything that's in your heart. Let's work our way down to your solar plexus and let's get some even breaths going. deeply in your hope and release that negativity. Release your fear. Let's work our way into the great cauldron of your belly. Let's acknowledge those butterflies that might be there. Anything that's feeling bogged down or uncomfortable, let's acknowledge it. Let's gather those butterflies and let's release them. Gather those butterflies and release. Now let's work our way down, down the body, down into the root of your body, right through the seat. And let's just be for a moment with any trauma, any suffering, any past pain. Gather it up, bring it through, bring it in, and let's release. Let's do that again. Gather up anything in the root and release. Now let's work our way down your legs, all the way into the feet, and now just brush it off, brush it off. Let it go, release from the feet down through the head, the throat, the heart, the belly, the seat, the legs, the feet, and release. So important. Now, for persistent anxieties, persistent challenges, and any themes that might come up, I have this jar that I just decorated yesterday. We call this our awesome jar. I've had this for a lot of years. My awesome jar has these gorgeous black beads that also came from my florist. Oh, love them so, so much a sprig of fresh rosemary from my garden that I can pinch and breathe in and just love that gorgeous oil of the rosemary. I'll cook with that later. I've got a couple of crystals on here from a witch's ladder that I created a few years ago. And I have some pieces of paper in here and a little poem that I wrote and I am noticing the themes that are coming up that are bigger themes of joy or pain that I have. And I'm writing them and I'm putting them in my awesome jar. And it's a bit of a hurricane lantern so I can hang it up. And that's another really great process. I can look then at the full moon at these cycles and themes that I'm going through, and I can burn them at a bonfire at the beach, which I'm gonna do this full moon. I'm super excited about it.
Bark, my little neighbor doggy. Such a cutie. But just has these moments where they just have to bark at the wind. <laughs> Obsidian is so amazing for actually absorbing some of the negativity that you're going through. I find this rainbow obsidian such a healing ally, such a comfort, and drop dead gorgeous. So beautiful. the last little bit of our black sand has just dropped so it's time for us to say until we meet again remember that magic is your birthright and everything's a spell this right here this session is a little spell for releasing negativity so you can greater connect with your intuition have a beautiful day